Well, another beautiful day in the Isle of Man. We're making the most of it so down here on Douglas Promenade uh, with Karen, who, of course, is our great adventurer of the Isle of Man. And um, you've been busy the last few months now uh, getting together another expedition you're going to take away with students from the Isle of Man. And uh, it, it just sounds great. And while we're chanting about it, we've got these pictures you've provided of uh, some train sessions in the canoes down in Port Air, is it? Yeah, it is indeed. Yeah, so it's the uh, Youth Scholarship uh, development and leadership program it's uh, entirely funded by us and uh, it really is a terrific adventure right the way through so it involves going into the, uh, the different secondary schools uh, telling the students about what's going on and then they it's a self-selective process so they uh, turn up to train the sessions and as long as they turn up and, and train they, they continue and they end up going on an expedition uh, after about 18 months of training so they're uh, they're on form by then. and uh, that's, that's amazing. I mean, I suppose you've got to be equipped for all sorts of eventualities. That's why it takes so long, does it? Yeah, so, so the expeditions often revolve around sea kayak and, and mountain walking, but they do encompass other things. And expeditions being what they are means that they're never what you planned. So the guys have to be able to think on their feet and be very dynamic. So a lot of the training is scoped that way. Now, these only happen what, once every 18 months. We've got pictures of, of the last one you, you did as well. Well, uh, you involved it, your company was. Uh, what, tell us about that one. So the, uh, the previous one went out to Vancouver Island and uh, actually that was the very first one I've not led myself. Oh. So uh, that was two previous students, Sam and Becca, who had done the youth scholarship programme in earlier years and they actually led that expedition. So that was, that was the full circle. It really, really was good to do. So I'll be, I'll be leading this next one. And where will it be? Uh, I'm hoping it will go out to Queen Charlotte Islands in uh, British Columbia, but the guys will actually decide that at Easter. So I'll train from now to Easter. At Easter, they will decide their expedition destination. They'll also then decide their training plan, what they'll need to prepare for that going forward. So it'll be very exciting. Okay, we better dig our, our GoPro to get some more action shots of you guys uh, doing your training. And uh, you're going to keep us in, informed, aren't you, on how this all goes this time? We'll, we'll certainly, this time, we'll, we'll keep in touch and let you know. I mean, it, it's been going on now since 2002. It's been a, there's been a lot of uh, investment in time and money from a lot of our coaching staff into, yeah. into the teams that have gone out, and it's, the, the results have been amazing, so really chuffed. Because I, I know you, you put so much time into this. I mean, the pupils pay towards it, but it, 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 it almost costs you, doesn't it? Uh, the, the company and, and our coaching team provide the whole training as the scholarship, and then the, the students actually pay towards the expedition only. Uh, so yeah, the, the team behind it have put an awful lot of their time and obviously the, the business puts a, a lot of time yeah. and money into it. Now, as all these things, people start with all the best intentions and the, the people drop out. How do, how's this one gone? Uh, very good so far. We start off with 21. I think we're down to 16 at the moment. Uh, last, the previous year's 18-month uh, programme, that, that kicked off with 29 and uh, 6 went on expedition. So, yeah, people have time commitments. So at a very busy time in their life with their A-levels. I mean, there's, a, there's an awful lot of politics going on there this year yeah. as well. So uh, we'll see how it goes. They're a really uh, good bunch to be around, and uh, it's good fun. Well, this one's already booked up, but you'll be thinking about the next one, well, every 18 months, isn't it? Yeah, so it's every every second year we go into the into the schools. So uh, if there's guys coming through who are, who are going to be at that stage next time, need to look out for it. And you'll probably have weather like this, but maybe a bit warmer, would it be? Uh, in the summer, over that way, it's often like our summer. Oh. Uh, it's really good. So the guys camp out every night. It's a self-sufficient, so they take all their food, all their gear. It's a big challenge.